The problem with the most widespread impact in our area tonight remains power outages. And at last check, National Grid was reporting that more than 120 Southern New England customers were still without power. Nearly half of those affected, 57,000 are in hard hit Washington County. Our in-depth coverage continues live now with Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly and the latest on the ongoing efforts to get the lights back on. Sandy has come and gone, but she left behind plenty of damage, as we just saw there in Naked's report, and plenty of people without power. Now comes the aftermath. Work crews stayed busy all day restoring power to thousands of customers throughout Rhode Island. The ne next two days are, are key days for us to get as many customers as we get back, but we'll still see uh, some of the most uh, hard-hit areas uh, until later on in the week. For now, only a year or so after Irene, there's once again a great divide. People with power. Compare Sandy to Irene. Sandy was nothing compared to Irene. This time we had power back very quickly. People without power, but with a generator. Six days we lost power. Six days in Irene, and your thought now is what? We have the generator this time. <laughs> so we still have power. We live and we learn? That's right. We live and we learn. And people without power, period. Other people are, you know, screaming, oh, we don't have power, la, 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 la. Yeah, everybody's a everybody's little different. Everybody's different. Yes. And you're, you're not la, 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 la. No. What are you? <laughs> no. So what are you? If they are that, what are you? I'm just the opposite. I'm over here. Hey, when I get it, I get it. National Grid tells us the good news with Sandy is that they lost only the smaller distribution lines, not the larger and much more critical transmission lines. Every storm is different. Live at a National Grid staging area here at CCRI in Warwick with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.